badly burned in a desperate attempt to save her horses. This trainer is now suing San Luis Ray Downs Training Center. Our tennis reporter Anthony Pura tells us why she claims the facility failed her and the horses. The nine page lawsuit filed in court this week alleges negligence on the part of SLR Training Center Inc., the company that owns the San Luis Ray Downs Training Center in Bonzel. Trainers Pierre and Martine Belloc filed the suit. Martine severely burned on December 7, 2017, when the lilac fire burned through the horse training center. Martine was trying to save racehorses, including hers. The documents claim the San Luis Ray Downs facility failed to keep a defensible space around structures and that there were no fire suppression systems in place and it failed to have a means to evacuate the facility or an emergency plan in place. Martine referred us to her lawyer, who says her medical costs are racking up, currently in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. In May of 2018, we spoke with Martine in the hospital after a tracheostomy. She was also getting fitted for a prosthetic leg at the time. She described how she tried to save her horse. When you're a horse person, your horse comes first. He don't come out. It was smoking, fire, loose horse all over the place. And I just go out a little bit and I just collapse and purify me on, on the ground. On the anniversary of the fire, Martine was honored with other trainers who rescued horses during the fire. Martine spoke to us about her recent surgeries then. Get operation of the both, the lips and the chin, the eyes. Her attorney says he plans to amend the lawsuit later this week to highlight more shortcomings on the part of the training center. Anthony Pura, 10 News. We reached out to San Luis Ray Downs for comment on the lawsuit. A spokesperson told us on the phone, quote, we'll give a comment to anyone but Channel 10. Team 10 was first to expose the history of fire code violations at San Luis Ray Downs back in January of 2018. Those violations dated back to 2005 and showed multiple issues related to fire extinguishers, smoke alarms, exit doors and stairs, as well as hazardous materials and flammable liquids.